Moving like the speed of sound. Okay, guys, just heard uh, the dog. See, the dog just barked. And that means we got our deliveries. Well, almost all of them. So let's get these guys inside. Okay, let's give you guys a little bit of a first look at uh, everything for the calcium reactor besides the Kimura. I still need to get the Kimura, uh, it's delayed from uh, Marine Depot and that's why I don't order a lot from Marine Depot because they're super slow and they just are ghetto overall. That's how I feel about them. Alright, here we go. So, this is the order from Bulk Resupply. Uh, I got some calibration fluid so I can calibrate the uh, new pH probe. Pretty standard stuff right there. This is the new pH probe. The double junction pH probe. And then we have this guy right here. The electronic carbon doser and one cat. Not available for purchase. Here we go. This should be the reactor itself. I'm getting ready to return this right here. The shipment came in a little bit defective and with an attitude. Alright, of course there's a box inside a box. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot how to do an unboxing video. It's been quite some time since I've done an unboxing video. And I forgot to mention the thing everyone cares about. Great packaging. Packaging on this stuff, phenomenal. Look at those peanuts. Look at these. Alright, that's great packaging. The styrofoam, amazing. That's what you look for when you're getting something. It's just amazing, great packaging. That's what we want to hear about when we see unboxing videos. Tell me about the packaging. Don't tell me what's in it. Anyways, now that you guys know how great the packaging was from, uh, you know, both companies did a great job. We have here the Tunzi calcium reactor. And I think I'm still waiting on my other FedEx order to, to get here, so there should be another unboxing. So I'll be sure to do that one the right way. And then the electronic car endoser, dogs fighting in the background. Just another normal video here. Not using a tripod when I probably should be. Don't know how to open up the box. First look here. Congratulations to me. You are the best. Oh, wait, it doesn't say that. Shit though. Great packaging. This is high quality paper too. Not a lot of companies can afford this stuff. You don't see it often. Okay, it looks like we have some uh, dosing line. And then this is nice and neat in its own little tucked in space. Looks like it comes with a check valve there. And then of course the power supply and the actual unit. Great motion. This this is great on this. Turns very nicely. This is probably to adjust the pressure on the uh, CO2 tank. So let's just go ahead, pack it up again real quick. All right, so let's go ahead. I figure since we have this great packaging, let's reuse it and uh, let's get this cat sent back. Here we go. <laughs> Stupid cat. Oh yeah, this one we got bubble wrap. Let's 
go ahead and on this one I'm going to use the pull out method. I'm just going to pull this right out. Okay, I executed the pull out method flawlessly. Wasn't my first time doing it. Uh, so now we'll make a ton of noise and make the audio terrible. So I can show you guys first look here. So I expected it to be a little bit bigger. But this will definitely do for what I need and for my, my size tank. It's rated up to, I believe, 300 gallons or so. Let's kind of walk through other stuff we have. So I think from my understanding, and I'll have to read the directions, but this is just my first uh, opinions on it, is that uh, this tube here is for recirculating uh, some of the CO2 uh, for the priming the recirculating right there. And then I think this one is your actual affluent line. Let's find out. Okay, yep, so this is your affluent. Uh, this is just your recirculating line. CO2 will come in here. And then the other one is your water inlet. This is what it's like to have a cat. If you're thinking about getting a cat, and you're thinking about having a tank and doing videos, unboxings, all this kind of stupid crap. And this is what it's like. Alright, where was I? Finally set up the tripod. Still working out how all this uh, stuff works, so give me a minute. Okay, so I popped the uh, top off, and then one of the first things I did is in uh, this water inlet hose right there, there's a little sponge. A little sponge. And I went ahead and took that out because this thing's just going to get clogged, and um, it, it's going to make it so the uh, reactor isn't uh, recirculating, recirculating as well. So I went ahead and... Took that off, so if you imagine uh, the cat is water, uh, it would be uh, getting water in from there and then making it go around and around. That is my understanding of how that works. And then I'm still trying to figure out what this part here is. I think this may be the uh, something to do with the CO2. Okay, I figured out what this is, aside from a cat toy. Um, it's a bubble counter, so I won't be installing this because I have the uh, electronic carbon doser and that can do it for me Okay, that's kind of a first look at uh, The first couple items that came in. I think it's pretty straightforward and um, Yeah, just waiting on the rest of this stuff Then I'll go ahead and start installing it and then the only thing I'll need to wait on is the uh, more a doser. I think that comes Monday, unfortunately, because uh, Marine Depot sucks. Okay, so I got this installed. Uh, pretty straightforward. You just put it on there, and then you're done. Kind of. And then I also got the media, which the cat is eating. Uh, it's like 40 pounds of the, uh, what is it, the two little fishies reborn. They're saying to uh, rinse it in RO water and then run a pH of 6.5. And then over here, I also got the uh, Remag. Eight pounds of that, so all this media should last me a really long time. So I'm going to go ahead now and fill up the reactor with some media. Okay guys, here we are. The last box I needed to make this calcium reactor fully functional. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Big thanks to uh, Marine Depot for taking forever on the shipping and just being, you know, absolutely terrible at shipping things, uh, just in general. So, see, they're pissed off too. So here we have it, uh, great just 
random paper stuffed in here. It's great stuff. Good thing it comes in its own separate box. Yeah, that'll do. Just throw it in a box with some paper crap. First look at the Khmer here. I wonder if I'm saying it right. It's upside down. Ideal for calcium reactors. This looks like the in. No. Out? Yeah. This would be in. This would be out. Great, great diagram. I'm sure no one's confused about this at all. Since you guys love packaging so much, I'll just give you guys a, a 360 of all these different uh, views. Look at that, elements. You guys love that, right? Reef tank. That's kind of what my tank looks like, right? You guys already saw this side. You guys know my cat. So I guess you guys want me to open it up. There she is. The unboxing troll. All right, it comes with some quick start instructions. We'll just put that right there. Comes with some dosing line. It comes with some multifunctional grease, okay? All right, let's look at the uh, other stuff. Oh, wow, I can't believe this. It came with a power supply. That's worth noting in unboxing, that it comes with a power supply. That's useful information. So here is the unit itself, uh, pretty small. If you compare it to uh, one full size chunky cat, it's about, it's about that width. Um, I'd say in comparison right here, this is about the length of her head. So would that be width? The other way was depth, sorry. This is width. So yeah, about one chunky cat head length. Okay, so it comes with two different sized lines. Uh, it didn't come with the uh, cat foot, but uh, so you can actually use these. These are adapters uh, in case you want to use this uh, bigger size tubing. And then it has kind of your standard quarter inch tubing right here. I'll be using that. Actual unit, I'm sure you've seen it uh, a ton of times now. Everyone's getting these, so. I'm just part of the, the crowd now, following the crowd. Anyways guys, that is enough of the unboxings. We have everything we need now for the calcium reactor. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this hooked up and then I'll catch you guys in the next one when it's all set up.